Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for March 21st through 27th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's get into your reading, see what energies we've got coming out for your week ahead. And uh, I am just running another contest on my channel to win a free personal reading. Uh, the contest runs until April 30th, so stay tuned until the end of this video and I'll give you the details because not everyone is interested in a contest. So we've got answering the call. The time is now. The doors are open for you. Blocks are removed. Do you have some projects, some goals, something that you want to accomplish? Okay, the time is now. Okay, uh, Spirit says get moving, get going. Okay, take those first steps. Okay, walk through that door and get started okay this could certainly be just be something small maybe something around the house but this could actually also be in part of your big dreams okay especially and since the beginning of the week we're still in the full moon in virgo energy okay for the first day or two all right so there could certainly be something there but i think also that some of you are getting a little bit of an epiphany okay and it could be that because we have had this full moon in virgo energy which does bring about some healing some reflection some soul searching that perhaps you've gotten some sort of answer, okay? Perhaps you've gained a little bit of insight and now you're like, I know exactly what I'm meant to do. I know exactly what I need to do. I know exactly why I'm here and you're going to answer that call, okay? Your soul is calling you. Your purpose is calling you. What does that look like for you? All right, the time is now. We also have surrendering to the journey, release control, go with the flow, people be open, be receptive, put one foot in front of the other, let your worries, your fears, your doubts aside, okay? Sometimes you need to let it go, okay? This is very six of swords kind of energy that comes out of this particular card, all right? Sometimes you just need to accept and move on. Sometimes you need to find a peaceful resolution. Sometimes you need to find a compromise, all right? But releasing control, okay, puts you in the flow. And sometimes when we try and control a situation too, too much, we can actually make something worse, all right? But whereas if we're just kind of, you know, going where the wind blows us and we're just you know, um, open and we're receptive and we're willing to hear someone else's point of view. We're willing to do something a little bit different. All of it, we're willing to have a conversation that really puts us back in the flow and things just get a little bit easier. Okay. And instead of micromanaging our lives or the universe, okay, release that control and go with the flow. And this actually puts you in a very forward momentum. All right. So surrender to your journey. All right. The universe wants you to be very much in the flow. So let's see what else we've got coming out for you guys. Thank you very much. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race there, people. The Knight of Pentacles brings in a very calm, very patient energy, doing your due diligence, putting one foot in front of the other, and not rushing through life, not rushing through anything. There may be something new that you are contemplating, that you are thinking of, and something that leads you on the path to success, okay? You could be leveling up in your commitments in something there as well, or looking to make a change, Ten of Pentacles, lovely. Ten of Pentacles brings you um, abundance, okay? Brings you success in all of your endeavors, long-term stability and security, okay? It really does bring you a positive outlook on things, but you may certainly be looking at areas in, in your life that do put you in this wonderful, abundant, successful kind of energy. Does this, uh, does this mean you're leveling up in something, making some improvements? Does this mean you're entering a higher level of commitment or are you looking to do something new? All right. Abundance, safety, security, long-term um, success is all on your uh, brain and all in your um, energetic realm right now. So be open, be open. We've got the Queen of Cups below you here as well. This is absolutely beautiful. The Queen of Cups brings in a very spiritual energy, okay? So maybe you are doing a little bit of soul searching, especially with that answering the call. Very spiritual energy. You could also be feeling really good in the week ahead. The Queen of Cups does, um, you know, bring about, especially in your feelings position here, 
here, all those good positive vibes. Okay, feeling good, looking good, having a positive outlook, um, having fun, okay, looking at areas where you can make improvements in your life. What gives you pleasure? What gives you joy? What makes you feel connected on a deep level with what you do for a living, with what you do in your home? The Queen of Cups brings in some love and some romance possibly for some of you as well. Okay, so you could certainly be entering into a higher level of commitment with a loved one, with a person, okay, or even with a company possibly here as well. All right, you may not be on the quest here with that Knight of Pentacles for the things that you do love. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles can quite often represent your home life, okay, things in your material world. So perhaps you're looking to move into a new house, find bigger and better um, place to live, a better neighborhood, things like that. So uh, you could have that on the on the mind there as well. Some sort of large purchase may come in there that makes you very, very happy. Something that you might have your heart set on here as well. But the Queen of Cups brings in a beautiful healing energy here also. Okay, so I think some of you are just very much getting into alignment with who you are, um, I think you've making some peace, making some amends, and the Queen of Cups is one of being very, very open and receptive to things as well. All right, and um, it does feel like here that you are, you've got a good head on your shoulders this week, okay, and you have a lot of really good vibes going on in your heart space there as well. We've got the Two of Swords coming there, and we also have the Eight of Cups. So some of you could certainly be um, making a very important decision in the week ahead, okay? The Two of Swords can certainly represent an energy of indecision, okay? Perhaps there's some information you don't have, there's something that you're waiting for, something that you can't quite see yet, okay? And you might actually be a little bit confused or you just really need to trust your intuition to make the right choice, the right decision for you. Okay, um, you may be at a certain crossroads. Okay, you may have a couple of different options to consider. Uh, there may even be an important conversation that you need to have there, right? But certainly something here is very, very important for you to decide to make a choice. Do I keep on the path I'm going on? Do I take the path less traveled? Do I take a completely different path? Okay, where are you? What are you at? All right, but there may be some information that you need to find, okay, in order to make the right choice for you. And with the Knight of Pentacles energy that's here, okay, if there was ever an energy where you can find the answers and you can find the information that you need, that can, that can certainly represent that there. But long-term commitments and action may certainly be the order of the day when we've got that Knight of Pentacles. So there could certainly be an offer or an opportunity that's coming in. You might be looking at where you can invest your money. Okay, you could certainly have a relationship, especially with that Queen of Cups there. Perhaps a relationship, um, an important one in your life, is headed to the next level. It could certainly be career advancement. It could be your financial um, situation, but it could also be friendships, romantic partnerships, family relationships there as well may certainly be um, improving. But sometimes in order to follow your goals and your dreams, sometimes you need to let something go. So we do have the Eight of Cups here as well, okay? The Eight of Cups is a very always a very interesting energy. Is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? Hmm, maybe it depends on your perspective. The Eight of Cups is a bit of a movement card. So we can look at it two different ways. We can look at it as your current situation isn't bad, it's not negative or anything like that, but it's maybe no longer fulfilling for you. So you may be detaching from a current situation on a quest to find something more exciting, something more beneficial, something that gives you more happiness and joy than your current circumstances. And that may certainly be a very important um, decision that you need to make. Some of you are leveling up, okay? You're following your goals and your dreams in this Eight of Cups. You're not detaching from anything. You are taking something to the next level. You are taking something to the next stage and you are finding your wishes and your dreams because the next card after the Eight of Cups, right? Eight of Cups shows us taking those next steps, okay? And the next card there is the is the Nine of Cups, all right? Your wish fulfillment, your goal attainment, okay? So you might be making changes in regards to what's important for you, your goals and your dreams, okay? And that requires you to take a different path. 
but you could also be um, you know, doing your due diligence, putting one foot in front of the other and making a very, very important choice that sends you to the next level of achievement. Okay. So there's certainly something that you may need to accomplish and decide in the week ahead, but ultimately it's really quite, um, really quite positive, right? Whether you're walking away or leveling up. Some people look at the eight of cups as a negative card. I don't see it that way. Okay, I see it as following your heart, following your goals, following your dreams. Sometimes on our quest for success, happiness, long-term security, and all of that, sometimes we do need to detach from our current situation. Okay, sometimes we do need to take the next step. Sometimes we do need to leave something behind. Okay, but it's all for our best and highest good. All right, especially if something is no longer fulfilling for you. Okay. Um, and you know what? Life is too short to be in an environment where you're not happy. Okay. So taking a next step is always a positive thing. All right. Um, but again, there may also be something here where you need to detach emotionally in order to make a really good decision, especially if there's some financial uh, situations that are going on. Okay. And I will tell you from cold, hard experience here. Never make emotional, dis never, never use your emotions to make decisions with large sums of money. Just saying, okay, because quite often we can get a little bit excited about something. Like think about if you're wanting to um, buy a new car or a new house or something like that, right? You might have your heart set on something and even though there might be a million problems with it, you still want it. But it might not be the right choice because you're uh, you're not leading with um, you're not being practical about something. OK, sometimes we need to follow our heart and use our emotions to our best advantage. But sometimes when it comes to large sums of money and things, sometimes it's best to take a practical approach at something rather than that emotional one. Just say, okay, so sometimes it's good to follow with, to lead with your heart and your emotions and other times practicality rules the day. Just saying, okay, because we can sometimes get a little bit carried away or uh, if you are shopping for a new house or something like that and you walk into a place and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. What you might end up doing is actually pushing the price up for yourself. Okay. So, you know, it's always better to sometimes point out the flaws in something there. Okay. Drive the price down. Okay. Use that to your advantage. But anyways, just saying there. All right. But let's get a little bit more information and uh, see what else, uh, so what other details that we may need to get from these. Let's see. Thank you. <clears throat> We've got the fox right in the middle. So there could certainly be something, uh, certainly be some sort of issue that you're trying to resolve here. Okay. Or that you're trying to move away from. All right. Um, but the fox can also indicate that there may be something around you that you just can't quite trust. Okay. Maybe you can't trust yourself or maybe there's a person around you. Um, you could maybe not trust yourself to make the right decision. That could certainly be it as well because maybe you just don't have the right information. But the fox can also indicate that you might need to be a little bit sneaky about something. You need, might need to be a little bit slick and sly, okay? And uh, maybe you're operating a little bit under the radar. Perhaps you're, you, you're playing your cards close to your chest. You're just not revealing anything um, at the moment to anyone around you, especially if you're looking to make some sort of change. So let's see what else. We've got the dog coming in here. The dog brings about loyalty. Uh, you could actually be considering getting a pet. That is for sure. Um, but the dog can represent friendship and loyalty and all of these things. And that's very much in alignment with that 10 of pentacles, right? The long-term commitments, things that you trust, things that are stable in your life. Okay. Your home life, your family life, your friendships, all of those things can be represented there. All right. And it could also be that you're trusting yourself. Okay. Um, to make the right decision. Okay. Even though you might be a little bit afraid that you're going to make the wrong choice. Okay. But you're also the dog can represent your loyalty. Okay. Fidelity, um, where you put your trust and your commitments into. Okay. So if there's anything, any issues with where you are right now, then yeah, the eight of cups can certainly mean that you're going to walk away because you might not know where you're headed, 
but it's better than where you are right now. We've got the tower card coming in here. So certainly something long term that you're looking for. Perhaps you're looking to partner up with a big, uh, a, a larger company or a corporation. Okay, but the tower card can represent something long term, long term commitments and security. That is certainly something that may be the order of the day. Um, but you might also be feeling a little bit alone. The tower card out of this particular deck, it's not the same tarot. It's not, it's not tarot. So um, this is the Lenormand there. So I've got Lenormand and Kipper mixed in here but um this can certainly represent uh you making a choice or making a decision all on your own because it can be a little bit of a solitary energy there as well okay so perhaps your own personal goals and dreams are really the order of the day for you We've got occupation coming out with that two of swords. So there could certainly be something here that you've put a lot of time, energy, and dedication into. Your occupation quite often has to do with your job. So you could certainly have a career uh, situation that is going on um, in your week ahead. And then we also have beautiful. We have the heart coming out here, okay? The eight of cups, following your heart, following your dreams. The heart here brings in happiness, joy, um, sense of satisfaction, okay? All of these things. And uh, so I think here, I think if you are in a workplace situation, you've been in it with a long, you've been in there for a long time, okay? And I think now you are um, about to make some sort of change. So it's perhaps you're looking to level up, okay? Um, but you also may need to keep your wits about you with that fox there, okay? Um, the fox can certainly represent there's something wrong in your current situation, but you are finding your way past, you're finding your way um, to make some change or make improvements in your current situation there. But again, with that fox, you might need to keep things a little bit on the down low, okay? Especially if you're looking at making improvements in your house, right? The tower card can represent a bigger house, Okay, and so you could certainly, um, you could certainly be looking at that as well. The Ten of Pentacles, by the way, can also represent inheritances. Okay, and so you could possibly uh, have an inheritance that is coming in here, and it's really positive. But at the same time, it's like a little bit of a double-edged sword. It's like, uh, I feel really bad. I feel like there's, I feel really wrong being happy about getting this money, okay, or being written into someone's will because you know, of course, what happens has to happen, right? Someone needs to pass on to get an inheritance, unless, of course, it's a living inheritance. That's always a little bit better, okay? But you could certainly have some, some workplace uh, situation that is going on around you, and you are finding your way forward. You're overcoming a challenge, okay? Or you're moving, making tracks to find something new, something that is going to make you very, very happy, okay? So, uh, certainly that fox card being in right in the middle there can certainly throw a monkey wrench into your situation, but we already know with the eight of cups that there may be some sort of an issue. All right. So don't be afraid to do a little bit of research, um, take the high road maybe, or even make some sort of change to figure out where you're meant to be or to make the right choice and decision for you. So uh, let's leave that there. We're going to pull out a couple of fortune cookie cards. And while I'm shuffling these ones, um, so the contest, all right. So this is a contest to win a free personal reading, full length reading. Uh, the contest is open until April 30th. So you can enter as many times as you like. It is only open for subscribers to my channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, just hit that subscribe button there. And then all you need to do is drop a comment in the box down below. Just say, I am open. And the reason I chose I am open is because it's actually a very powerful affirmation. It's telling the universe, I'm open, I'm ready to receive, very much like this Queen of Cups energy, right? I am in the flow, okay? I am in the flow, I'm open, send me my blessings, my abundance, my opportunities, my people, all of these things. I am open. I've got an open heart, an open mind, and uh, I am ready, for pretty much anything. So that's that affirmation to put down below. I am open, subscribe to my channel, and that's it. I'll announce the winner the first week of May. So we have surprise, excellent. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Look at this. The fox can certainly represent a disappointment. And then we've got happiness right after that. So you maybe you do have a little bit of a surprise coming in here in the month, in the week uh, ahead. We also have love. Love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. 
And we do possibly have a leveling up situation for you guys. And last but not least, we have jealousy. Aha. Uh -huh. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. And let me tell you, um, as I said a little bit earlier, that fox card there, perhaps you do need to keep something a little bit quiet. You do need to be a little bit secretive about something, okay? Um, just keep your wits about you, okay? You never know who might blab, you know, who you trust might be really important. You could actually have some trust issues coming in there with that fox and the dog, okay? So maybe someone betrays your trust a little bit. It might be a misunderstanding, all right? But you work things out in the end with that heart card there. So keep your wits about you. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. If there, I hope there was something in this reading that did resonate, whether it was a little bit or the whole thing. If there was, please don't forget to hit that like button there. Again, subscribe to my channel, even if you don't want to participate in the contest. And um, if you do, of course, leave I am open in the box below. Hit subscribe, and we're all good there. And um, all the way up until April 30th. Enter as many on as many videos as you want if you want extra chances. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have a fantastic week ahead. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.